hello guys welcome back to yaki studios in this video i'm gonna showcase easy voxels uh, marching tetrahedrons it's a new plugin and uh, we're gonna see how how it's working first of all marching uh, tetrahedrons it's a mesh component based on procedural mesh component you have some generic settings you have to provide a density builder a density builder it's an object where you build the density in this example we are building a sphere which we call it a steroid but uh, it's a sphere construct density point is the function that uh, gets called within the uh, marching tetrahedrons algorithm it's a constant function it means you cannot change variables outside of it you can only read them you cannot write now let's go forward we have some generic settings unit size resolution ISO level inverted this is used to invert uh, the geometry like inside out chunk radius we use this for a chunk system like systems like uh, landscape terrains or whatever planets doesn't matter use shared points uh, we enable this if uh, we don't want to duplicate vertices uh, in our geometry you have to keep this enabled if uh, you want a level of detail to work if uh, you disable the you disable use shared points uh, level of detail will not work we have a normal type which is gradient advanced and uh, gradient basic which uh, are using uh, neighbor voxel points uh, to generate the normal and we also have triangle which uh, uh, generates the normal based on the vertice positions uh, in that form of triangle the chunk slot this is also used in a chunk system and the uh, update interval uh, this is used to limit how often uh, voxel data and uh, mesh data it's uh, getting uh, uh, generated uh, we have uh, automatic load we have a maximum load let's see how this maximum load uh, level of detail works let's simulate it and let's see the wireframe if we go back the geometry gets simplified as you can see this is nice uh, we also have max collision level of detail this uh, limits the collision for uh, a maximum level of detail ID and these are some simplification parameters that enhance uh, simplification we can also uh, modify the geometry at runtime this is done with blueprints this is a simple implementation we just alter density data which is stored in the density builder this map and then we request voxel data update this is it for the asteroid demo let's hop into chunk terrain chunked terrain demo it's pretty basic we have a voxel manager 
which uh, spawns the chunks. We spawn just one chunk per frame to avoid the clogging the game. These are some helper function you find in in the plugin. We have our our component which also is using automatic level of detail. We have a maximum level of detail of 5 and the maximum collision level of detail is 0. Only at 0 level of detail which is the highest quality the collision will be generated. We update navigation data of course and we set up a material. Let's see how this works. Let's simulate it. Data is getting generating, generated, chunks are getting spawned. We use we use a chunk chunk radius of ten for each axis for x x y z. This means one thousand one thousand chunks. So that's why it takes a little bit. there the geometry is generated let's see how the level of detail works as you can see level of detail is increasing as we approach the chunks and it's decreasing as we get further away from the chunks This is it. I hope you, you understand what I'm saying. My accent is kind of raw. I'm trying to improve myself. And see you in the next video. Bye.